Let's look at how we can make a frequency table in Excel. We start off with this table of data for 100 employees at a lumber company, and we have their usual hours worked, their education, their yearly earnings, their age, and their sex. Now suppose we wanted to better understand what their age was. What we could do is we could make a frequency table with different categories of ages, different bins of ages, and count how many people would go in each bin. The way that we're gonna do that is with pivot tables. So what we can do is just click any place in the table that you want to. We're gonna to go to table tools under design, and then we're going to summarize with a pivot table. So make sure that you're clicked inside the table, we're going to summarize with a pivot table, and it says select a table or range. It suggests table one, and it has the flashing lines around it. That's what we want. Uh, now, where do we want this pivot table to appear? Let's, uh, let's just, we can put it in a new worksheet. That's a different tab down here, or we can put it in an existing location. Let's uh, put it in an existing location. Let's just put it right here by H3. Then we press OK, and it says it starts, it gives us data here to start making our pivot table. Now we are interested in age, so we're going to click age. Now it's got some of the age. Let's change that, that value field setting to count, because the frequency table is a count. So I'm changing the value field settings. I clicked on some of the age, that down arrow value field settings and now I'm choosing count. I'm doing OK and now I want to take this age and I want to put that in rows and look at this we've got a, a frequency table where we've got 19 year olds and there's one of them there's two 20 years olds there's a 21 two 21 year olds and it goes down and down and down and there's a whole bunch of ages and that's that's not really useful. Let's uh, let's change some things. First of all, let's click inside the table, right click, and we want to change the grouping. So click on group and it's going to ask us the starting value and the ending value. Now our ages go from 19 to 69. Uh, that's and grouped by 10. Now grouping by 10, that, that kind of makes sense, except let's, let's make sure they start at a nice round number. Let's start at 10, starting at 10, ending at 69, and let's press OK, and it's given us a nice frequency distribution. Now this 10 to 19, if we were to show that to somebody and say, oh, you're doing child labor, and we know that it's only a 19-year-old. If we go over to age and click the sort button, sort from smallest to largest, yeah, that's really just a 19-year-old, but it's weird to have one row specifically for 19-year-olds. So let's change this to 18 to 19-year-olds. That looks a, a lot better. 20 to 29, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, that looks really good. Now let's change the column numbers. Rather than calling it row labels, let's say what it actually is. Age, and this is frequency or number we could put in. Well, I'll put in frequency. And there we have a nice frequency table indicating the ages of the 100 employees.